this is not this is not a tutorial video. This is just a recording of how I changed my over the range microwave. It was a Samsung that broke after four or five years. <clears throat> it's the second time I've been I've replaced this over the range microwave. Some initial comments. Number one is cover this area so that it doesn't get so dirty. There might be drilling and stuff and stuff falling from up top there. So cover it. Number two is if you can put like a, some plastic container of some sort that's about this high, it'll help that way when you lift this thing up, when you lift it up and you put it down, you can easily just put it down onto the plastic container that will allow you time to then lift it down to the ground. Definitely suggest having two people because even though it's, you know, 20 something pounds, it's not too heavy, but it's just awkward position in which you're holding it. So you should have at least two people if you can. Um, and finally, just remember to take out the stuff inside because the glass can get moved around and maybe break as well as turn off the electricity up top over here unplug it and finally the top over here just remember to once you're ready to take it off I'm unscrew these screws there's two of them one on the left and one on the right if you have to attach to your cabinet and that should allow you to remove the over the range microwave so that's pretty much most of my comments I wanted to make. So you can watch, it took me a few hours to do because I'm not handy at all. So it's more of a video just to give you some confidence if you're like me who's not really handy. I had my brother around and he helped out a lot. Two brothers actually, so they helped out a lot. So thanks a lot brothers. Brother number three and brother number five. Thank you Richard, thanks James. Today I'm planning to replace my Samsung microwave, which I've owned for four or five years. It makes a horrible buzzing noise. It's working now. But when it doesn't work, it just buzzes really bad and barely moves. So it's time to replace it. I don't recommend a Samsung microwave since it only lasted me four or five years and I've had similar issues with Samsung products. Also, my washer upstairs sounds horrible. But maybe it's just me. Who knows? You know, your mileage may vary. So, today I'm going to try to replace it. First thing I need to do is unplug the power up here. It's, the power is up here somewhere. I think it's over there somewhere. Unplug the power. And it's... If I recall, on the bottom, there's a back mount that keeps this thing in place. Two, three. So to remove this, I will just need to lift it up and pull it out. But I have to unplug the power first and make sure I can pull it out. And I'm going to replace it with a nice whirlpool. We'll see how it goes. So I need to unplug the microwave. See it's on right now. I'm plugging this baby and now it's off. That's the first step. I need to move all this stuff off the counter shelf. I don't know, not the counter shelf, but the shelf. Better now. Cleaned it off. You may need to drill a hole. Let's see, shoddy installation job. Um, so we'll see. So I unplugged it, cleaned off the top shelf. What I may need to do is I may need to drill a hole for the new microwave power plug. So that's it. What'd you buy? What is this? This is the microwave. Oh. Why is your own break? Pitch mentioned the new one. When taking down your microwave, remember to take out the stuff inside. The last thing you need is glass crashing. So take out this plate and then take this as well. Just a reminder. How many pounds is it? Mommy, isn't life saving good? 
30 pounds? Oh, that's it. It's not super heavy. Oh, okay. No, okay. Give it a try. Lifting from the back. At least still bolted. The one I unbolted. I got one. Is it these things? Or you leave these first? Oh, you have to take off any of these filters. Yeah, I need to take off the filter. I forgot if I have to unscrew something. This is the top. This is oh, the top. Just the top. There's three screws. Oh, you didn't get those yet? No, the reason why I know is because there, we had to screw one hole. It's different in a yeah, different yeah. spot. The other two are the same spot. So I forgot to yeah, screw the top. top and then lift it off. So I forgot to pull off the screws on the top. One hole didn't match up out of the whole thing on the top. I swear there's three. And one didn't match, right? So we call John. John doesn't hold. So we need to also get this side. So once I pull that off, I can lift it out, I think. So it's my bad. Okay. As you remove the screws, what do you call it? It's going to come down, so you need someone holding it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, James. So here we go. We're gonna take it off. So we have this on the bottom. Uh, it's helpful because then you can pull out the power cable from the top and then figure out what you need to do before you lift it and put it away. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put it away and move on to the next part. This is the Whirlpool. It comes with this piece top bracket piece, a lot of screws. Hopefully I don't have to use too many of these. Plug. So, gonna move this out of the way and try to take, out, take it out. So, moving over this stuff. It's sideways right now. Now, Move it over so it faces on the ground, and then I'll pull it out. So I have it sideways now on the ground. Now I'll just pull it out so I can see everything. This thing uses a different backing plate from what I ha already have for the Samsung, so I have to take out the old backing plate and install this one. I need to read sections. I need to fix the motor because. I have a vent outside. It's a lot of work. Move the two screws here. And lift this up. And now I need to take out two more screws over here because I have to lift up the motor. This is pretty lame. They don't have like a switch for this. Now I have to disconnect the lower motor and then lift up the motor. Easy, right? I think it's this thing over here. So I pulled this tab and removed it. Take a picture of this so I remember it. So I need to pull this out, this whole thing here. This thing does not pull out easily. I don't know what they're talking about. I took off this long screws. It's supposed to be the blower screws. So. I'm going to get in there and remove those screws. So I removed the blower screws over here. And so I should be able to lift this out now. Which I can. That was stupid of me, but I, I really don't think I should have to do this. should have had some kind of switch to easily switch the motor. So it's pretty easy lifting it out. I put it over here. Maybe I should put it on the ground over here so I don't mess it up. <sighs> Next step is to... Oh my gosh, I have to... Oh, 
So I'm cutting off this thing over here. Let's go do that. I need to go cut these off. Like I said, I need to cut each one so I can finally pull off the vent so it just blows in complete air instead of being obstructed by this. I'm almost there. You need, they didn't tell us I need one of these. Got one off, and now I have to do it for the other one. I took it off, now I need to put everything back on. So, so I need to put it on like this. It's back in. What? No. Let's say. It says now instead of the vent, which one is like this. Now I want to be facing out. That's awesome. And somehow has to plug in. I guess the go underneath here so it could reach. So, I'll show this again. The first step was I needed to reposition the wire. I put it underneath over there, like it said over here. So that way it could reach finally and I can plug it in. And now I'm going to try to screw in this. So I need two hands. To make sure it's screwed in, these two blower screws are screwed in, I should be able to pull it out, which I can't. So now I need to push this down, like I said, push this down, and then screw these last two screws. And now I'm ready to go to the next step. So I didn't do it right. I needed to do roof venting. So, from here, I need to break these things apart. Yay. From the inside out. And I have to have the motor facing up now instead. Sigh. So, back to unscrewing this and doing this all over again. So, I'm going to unscrew this. cut these off and remove them and I have to put the blower so it's facing up. I didn't show it but I used this to cut it, cut it, cut it. It was a really bad cut, bad job cutting it. Cut this too but it's just easier just to flap this until it breaks. But that's what I need to do. Then do this side too. Mm -hmm. I found out my remote control. LG remote controls anything. Mm. As long as you plug in the TV and it detects it, it'll control it. So I control the PS5 remote. Too. Cool. Yeah. I, I just can't control my Xbox because it's, it's routed through the computer. I don't have anything, buddy. What do you have? What do you have? It's routed to the computer so it can't detect it. What do you want? You gotta talk to me. You gotta talk to me. Use your words. Use your words. What's how? What's how? 
it. I don't know what how it's going to Pull out the cable. Pull here. Oh, no, no. We adjust no, this so it's Ready? Yeah. Like this. So I have to put this thing, this wire over here, I have to put it through this part. So let me go do that. So, do that. And now I can slide this in. Put this into the power plug. Over here. But I can't reach it. Let me try this again. That's hooked up. And now I need to screw this on. Put this off. Screw those on. Finally got it. This doesn't lift out, so I put these two lower screws on fine. And now I just need to screw this one and screw this one, and I'm ready to go to the next part. Got the old back plate. Yeah, that took a while. It's using what do you call it? There was in the stud, so it had a bracket. Now I need to install a new one. Oh, you do this. But it had a little plate like this. It's in the stairs. I don't know, maybe. It's, a, it's a big micro sized thing, like but it has a little plate holes. like this big, and you put the thing in and it cooks it in it. And it's air fried. It's not like it does anything else. But you gotta heat it up to four minutes. I need to fit this in. Like, this. What the hell is this? I mean, you can you get fries. Do one stand. of these holes. Oh, we didn't come the stairs. <laughs> we just get a net. Yeah. We didn't get a net. We're so poor, we put books up. Yeah. No, we didn't. That's it, yeah. John wouldn't even take my paddles. It's, it's a good bonding. Put this on. Yeah. Well, we're. So? <laughs> okay. One of you guys like dumped you. Yeah. I don't have studs, so there's the hole. And I needed to do it like I have, this. I have pictures of the last time we did it on an actual car. It's going on this. It's actually, it's Susie and David. This. Yeah, it's so cheap for it. The net when it does it's it like go back in the game. It's going yeah, like that. I have one as a hole. You want it? I'll do this on my side too. I just thought it was a little fine. Yeah, have it if you want. Yes. I'm ready to go with a little bit. I thought I'd use it, and then I find out everything. Are you full? Cool? Yeah. I'm not sure. I didn't buy them, too. Even what's there? I had this sneaker in the garage somewhere. You might have taken it back. I had it for a while. Yeah, it's a palace. It's not big enough. One in. Let's try this side. Inside. Now I need to screw it. I just fixed mine. Okay. I said buy another one. I bought it. You know, I told you I bought it. Right? Oh, I'll go second one. The big giant box. So you can buy it. You're gonna move the wheel around the back? You do it? You do it away? Yeah. You still have it, right? I thought you were gonna use it or something. I was gonna, I was gonna use I bought remember I bought that one. Yeah, the one that hired the one that hired jumping on it, right? Yeah. Ryan, did you ever throw it? Once, twice, and then. Was it throwaway? Should have screwed it more. Screw this in, screw this in. It's ready to bring in the microwave now. I have the template at the top. So I need to cut this out. And try to put it on top so the screw over here aligns with that screw. So 
here's the templates on top of here. I need to screw here, and I need to screw here, I think. These two screws. Well, this is probably for the power plug. This is the screw, screw, power plug. Power plug, screw, screw, power plug. And that's it, I can screw up. Okay, so I have the template. It's supposed to go on like this. I drilled some holes over here so I could make sure. So I put in the screws through here. Will it actually go through to the right place? So that's how I'm sort of testing it out. Like how it al everything aligns. Because it's supposed to be like that. So let's see if it screws on. It doesn't seem to be on exactly. So we'll see. Screwed it in, it's pretty straight, and you can see that there's some a little bit over here. So I need to take that into account when I drill this in. But then again, there's gonna be some space here, so. I think it should work. I'm gonna try put it back in and drill and see where we go with this. Okay, over and out. Do this. And I'm just gonna drill up according to the holes over here. I think it should work. This and this. I realized I should have covered this in the very bottom when I was drilling up top and doing all this other stuff, but. Drill the hole over here. Drill the hole over here. Good thing it fits. So this one probably fits too. So let's see. Moment of truth. Let's put it in the microwave. Let me vacuum this up a little bit. I'm gonna put the washer in over here. That's in, that's in. Let's work our magic. Let's see about moving the microwave in. Based on the manual, the only last thing I need to remove is packing spacers up front. I don't see any packing spacers. Something like this. So I guess I can lift it over and have it installed. What I did to try to help is put this over here so I can yeah, leave it there um, and then we'll lift it um, afterwards. Okay. We do it all at once, but still. So I'm gonna lift this first to here. Then I'm gonna try to lift that to there. So we'll see. It's pretty light. Okay. So it's on there. Now with the lift it into there. I'll just make sure I'm recording right now. Okay, let's do this. So the back end. Yeah. It's in there. So it's like that. And so if you, one nice thing is you could just put something down over here and then someone doesn't have to hold it, which we could just do right now. Just give me a second while I put something down there. It isn't great, but it's nice having this, that way you don't have to hold it the whole time. Uh, you should probably jury rig something better than this, but I forgot to pull the wire underneath, but luckily I have this contraption and I'll put the plug through. So I can see it over here. And I can try to screw this down. Okay, you screw it down over there. Same thing with over here. The hole's not exact, so I'm gonna have to drill some more. And it's nice that I can just leave it there while I'm trying to drill it. I'm able to get it in by pushing it in a little bit more. And now it's maybe I'll screw it. I'm gonna go work on this other side first, so it 
make sure both of them can screw. So while I'm screwing it in, I'm gonna lift it up too. So I'm gonna have my another person help me up. So it's easier to screw in. So I'll need to lift this a little bit while I'm screwing it in. Over and out. Screws are in. Plug this in. And it's on. Just need to put my roof vent on and I'm good to go. Put in the vent. Plugged in. It's on. I need to take off all the plastic wrap. Took a while. I need to, re hopefully, it doesn't. So it's removed. We should get a fridge like this because we have this in the fridge. We have this fridge. That's a lot of stuff we need to take off. We put so much protective gear. Like oh, for sure. I totally understand the fridge. Yeah, they had it. Sick. They had it inside the home. I know it. It's, uh, it still works. We might keep it. There you go. Put it in. That is off. Let's say 10 seconds. Did yours just have sense? Dude, ours used to never, the one that I bought for dad didn't, wouldn't let you do that unless there was something in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can't just microwave it on itself. You have to put something in there. I don't know how it knew. Okay, it didn't die. Whew. Took a while, but we got it finished. Let me put this cheap cover in here. It fits. It's white. It used to be black. I need to figure out how to do the time. And we'll do that another day. So replace it with the Whirlpool. It's my Whirlpool. Putting on the bottom cover. You just push it in. Slide it over. And voila, all done. Super easy for a Whirlpool. Again, you can take it out by doing that. I don't need, even need a video for this. Let's see how easy it is setting the time. Where's time? So, gonna set the time on this whirlpool clock. Four. Press clock. That's it. Super easy. If I wanted to set it again, just press clock. Blinks. Thirty-five. When I'm done, press clock. Just installed this whirlpool microwave. Let me try the light. It's nice and didn't have a light before on my last microwave. It has three dim lights and then let's try the fan. Speed D2. Speed D1. So there's only two speeds on this whirlpool. I was just checking to see, I can feel it pulling in air. It's pulling in air from here too. So when you're done, you just press the fan button. That's it. Just installed this Whirlpool <laughs> microwave. Let me try the light. It's nice and didn't have a light before on my last microwave. It has 
Three dim lights, and then let's try the fan. Speed D2. Speed D1. So there's only two speeds on this whirlpool. I was just checking to see, I can feel it pulling in air. Pulling in air from here too. So when you're done, you just press the fan button. That's it.